again and welcome to the Chopsticks and Charlie's Magic Adventurers Club. I'm Sir Charles Albert and this is Chopsticks with his signature Chopsticks. Chopsticks and I have traveled the world doing magic and at one time Chops was actually a real magician just like Siegfried and Roy or Penn and Teller. One time we were in Australia and at Ayers Rock when something very strange happened to us. We were there doing a magic show when all of a sudden a bright shiny light, remember that Chops? It came down and before we knew it we were aboard a spacecraft taken by aliens. After that we came back, I was all right but Chops Yes, Chops was a rabbit. Yes, you've been an alien inductee. What we did from then on is that Chops continued to do magic, but as a rabbit. And tonight, he's going to help us with a wonderful adventure called the Goldbug Adventure. So stand by and be ready to join us at the club. Hello again, and welcome to the Chopsticks and Charlie's Magic Adventurers Club. Tonight, we're going to go on a gold bug adventure. Does that sound good? All right. <clears throat> on Sullivan's Island, Monsieur Legrand and his companion, Jupiter, were looking for specimens and for various special animals and plants. And one of the things that they found was this little bird. I call him Nostradamus. Hello, Nostradamus. <laughs> that Nostradamus. Let me see, he might be sleeping. Oops. Oh, yes. Nostradamus. Hi there. <laughs> Nostradamus, I'm going to do some magic tonight, and I'm one of the greatest magicians in... Good night. <laughs> I am one of the greatest magicians that <clears throat> has ever done this particular magic trick on Sullivan's Island. But this little bird here is constantly going to sleep <clears throat> every time I do my magic tricks. Isn't that something? Well, Nostradamus, Nostradamus, wake up, wake up. I'm a magician. I'm a great magician. <laughs> I am one of the best magicians around. Don't you know that? <clears throat> look, there's a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of people out here tonight. Oh, look, look, you can't be doing this. this these ladies out there, it's very important for them to be, uh, what? What was that? You have something else to say? Oh, Nostra, oh, Nostradamus. Let me, let, let me, let me just put this hat on you. Oh, yeah, peekaboo. Yeah, I see you too. Nostradamus, would you mind uh, just uh, take a little rest for a while? Would that be all right? Good night. I'll just put him over here. <clears throat> oh, you're chilling. <clears throat> like I said, sweet dreams, thanks. <clears throat> while he's snoring, while he's sleeping, we'll be doing the magic, okay? Monsieur Legrand and Jupiter, his companion, were on Sullivan's Island. And on Sullivan's Island, they were looking around, and all of a sudden, Monsieur Legrand looked and he saw something. He saw something very bright and shiny. And he said, oh my goodness, this is a, this is a, a specimen I must have. I must have this. <clears throat> when he reached into the shrubs to get this particular little bug, but he was actually a, a pretty big size bug, he put his hand in and ow! Oh, 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 oh. The bug bit him. 
His friend and companion, Jupiter, said, well, well, wait, wait. And he noticed there was a piece of paper, a small piece of paper, like this. Hold on to this. This will be very important for us, okay? <clears throat> he took that piece of paper and he grabbed the bug. And when he grabbed the bug, then he was able to hold on to it and bring it back to his cabin. <clears throat> Meanwhile, at his cabin, a friend of his, <clears throat> this is, this is, <clears throat> this is where Monsieur Legrand originally lived. He lived in New Orleans. <clears throat> and then he traveled to South Carolina and he went to a cabin that he built with his friend Jupiter. And they were looking for these specimens. After he got back to the cabin, his friend said, well, where have you been? He says, oh, I've been out to the, I've been out to the area and I found something very strange on the beach. A, a, a gold bug. You see that bug on it? Yes. Uh-huh. Well, that was a part of the puzzle that we found out about. So would you hold on to this for a minute? <clears throat> what I'd like you to do is just, would you just tear that bug up? That Just tear those pieces. Make a little puzzle piece of us out of it. Just go ahead and tear it up. That's good. That's good. You're doing good. That's good. Oh, my goodness. Let's make sure we get all the pieces. You can just put them in there. Okay, get all the pieces in there. All right, good. Now, what I want you to do, I want to be sure that <clears throat> we don't lose any of these pieces, all right? So we're going to wrap all those pieces up, and we're going to tie them with this rope, okay? This is going to be important. All right. Now, would you just hold on to that and make sure that it's tied? All right, just hold on to that. Okay, good. <clears throat> As I said before, would you let me hold on to this? When his friend, when his friend saw the bug, he said, my goodness, this is, this is a strange bug. But what happened was, Monsieur Legrand had uh, thought that it would be better if we put the bug away because it was, you know, kind of a restless day and everything that was going on. So he put the bug in a bottle and he started to draw on that piece of paper what the bug would look like. <clears throat> And as he drew it, <clears throat> his friend looked at it, and then he picked up the paper, and he said, you know, this doesn't look like a bug at all. It looks like a skull. Monsieur Legrand looked at the paper, and sure as shooting, something had happened. Maybe it was in the sand, and something had happened. But he noticed they had all kind of, all kind of ciphers, these little ciphers. You see these ciphers? That's codes saying that there was something that this piece of paper could lead them to. And when he looked, he noticed there was a kid, a little goat. Monsieur Legrand thought, mm -hmm. could this be, could this be the treasure of Captain Kidd? <clears throat> Monsieur Legrand, <clears throat> he went in a favorite place that he had for instruments. It wasn't there. Nothing was there. He went in another drawer. Nothing. He went in a box. Nothing. He looked and he looked and he said, where are my instruments? And then he remembered the Jolly Roger. Could this be also part of what was Captain Kidd's instruments? Yes, it sure looked like it. Well, maybe you can help us today. Would you just see this is a... I believe that's a compass. Can you open that up? And uh, yes, it is. Good. You've ever heard of Jack Sparrow? That's the compass that he uses. Can you put this on? That's that's something that we can use. And look, we have something else in here. Looks like this is from Captain Kidd too. Pirates. Oh yes, this will be good. All right, let me just put this on. All right, is this good for you? Yes. Are you ready for a pirate adventure? All right, with Captain Kidd. All right, I'll just fix this for you, and I'll fix this for you. All right, let's get back to that map. Oh boy, because all treasure has to do with maps. You know that. Take that spyglass. Can you open that spyglass up for me? Ha ah, ha, good, all the way. Look for this, because that's what he found out. 
It was the tulip tree. The tulip tree that had the key to what they were looking for. <clears throat> and you know what they were looking for. It was treasure. They had to find treasure. So as you see, they took the instruments and they found the tulip tree. <clears throat> I want you to hold on to this map. Okay. <clears throat> and let me see. <clears throat> once, once they found the treasure <clears throat> map, they kept on looking and looking and Jupiter was then told to go up to the top of the tulip tree. He went up to the top of the tulip tree and he said, well, how far should I go? He said, the Monsieur Legrand looked at the map. He said, go to the seventh limb. He said, well, count how many? One, two, three, four, five limbs. Go two more limbs and then go out all the way to the end. So he climbed up a little bit more and he got to the end and he saw at the very top of the tree, there was a white object at the end of the limb. He said, oh no, and he got, he crawled to the end and it was, he hollered out. He said, it's a skull, it's a skull. Monsieur Legrand said, don't worry, don't worry. He says, <clears throat> and by that time they had taken the beetle and they had tied it with a string. And he told Jupiter, he said, put it through the left eye of the skull. So Jupiter put the bug and the string through the left eye and where it hit the ground, they walked they walked and they started to dig to find the treasure. They dug and they dug and they dug and nothing happened. They moved over here, nothing happened. They moved over there, nothing. Monsieur Legrand said, I don't know what's happened. Something's happened. I don't know. We can't find the treasure. <sighs> he says, oh my goodness. So they packed up and they started to walk back. And then all of a sudden he stopped. He said, now wait a minute, Jupiter. When I said put bug to the left eye of the skull. How did you do that? He said, well, this is my left eye, and I put it through the left eye of the skull. <gasps> he said, no. You see, when you face in the skull, that's the right eye of the skull. Oh, he got back up to the tree. He went back up there. He dropped it then through the other, the right, the left eye of the skull. And when it hit the ground anymore, he walked, he walked, and he started to dig, 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 boom, oh, they found something. And then they cleared it all the way, and guess what it was? Treasure, Captain Kidd's treasure, gold, jewels, emeralds, diamonds, candles, cups, gold. Wow, that's exciting, isn't it? Well, let me see what we can do, because that gold bug is the index sometimes to treasure. Now we happen to have the very, oh, let's see, oh my goodness. Uh-oh, looks like he's a little sleepy. He looks a little sleepy here. Well, I have, I have something to, maybe I can, oh goodness sake. Let me see, maybe I can wake him up. He looks like he's hibernating. Oh, goodness. Get up. Uh, you know, if I give him, if I give him some, if I give him some, some food, sometimes when, when they're sleeping like that, you know, you just give them a little food, it, it helps to get them. Oh! <coughs> this, oh, this is too, too fresh. I think those, those, those eggs were too fresh in here. Goodness sakes, let me put this away. <laughs> ah, I don't know. Let me, let me ask you this. Do you, have, do you have a pocket? Do you have a pocket? All right, l l l let, me, let me just see where, where that pocket would be. Can, can, you, can, you, oh, can you move that map a little bit so I can see? Yeah. yeah let, me see. let me see. Is it empty? All right, would you mind very much if, if I just took this, this gold bug and put it in your pocket? All right, is that all right with you? Now look, if he starts, if he starts to bite, don't worry, okay? Because the pinches, the pinches are so, uh, you know, they kind of deep and they'll start to bite your leg, but don't worry, all right? 
Will you do that for me? Just scream out, will you? All right? All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Hold on to your map. All right, let me see what this is. This is a little coin here. Look at that. All right, well, we'll can you hold on to this jar? And we'll, we'll just take this coin out of here. Let's see what we'll do with this. Maybe we'll just put that down there. Boy, I tell you, sometimes these, <coughs> these coins do wonderful things. But that was a gold bug in that jar, wasn't it? I wonder. I wonder. Oh, oh, look, look. There's a coin. There's another one in your ear. And look, there's one in your knee. There's another one over here. Look, by your elbow. And there's another one. Oh, goodness. Here, there's another one over here. Do you have one here? Yes. I see another one here. Golly. Look at this. We're doing pretty good with this, huh? Look, there's another one by your knee. They're going all over the place, huh? And how about over here? By the map. Okay, I see one over here. All right, and there's another one there. Goodness sakes. Are we doing all right? That gold bug is working, huh? Goodness sakes, I see another one back in your neck. I see another one over here. Golly. Have you been to the dentist? Have you been to the dentist? You haven't? When's the last time you've been to the dentist? Well, five months ago? Well, maybe. I, 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 I might be able to help you to find something else. Can you open your mouth? Open your mouth real big. Put your head back just a little bit. bit. Let me, uh, uh, oh, good. That's another one. Can you open yours? Uh, look at that, another one. You're doing good. Now you got them in your mouth. Did you know you had it in your mouth? You didn't know. Well, next time you go to the dentist, you'll be able to tell him. He says, I get, I get all kind of things out of my mouth sometimes. Even coins, you know? Well, let, let's see how much we got in here. Oh, boy. Wow. That's pretty good, huh? Well, Monsieur Legrand was a good artist. And when he would draw, you know, he would draw all kind of things. One of the things that he drew, you know, was this gold bug. You remember the gold bug? Well, the gold bug <coughs> is something that, that a lot of times... Let me see if I can... Can you... Uh, Hand me one of the coins. Just hand me one of the coins, it doesn't matter. Okay. All right, let me see if I can do something with that coin. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Can you grab one in the air? Just just grab a coin. No, just, just grab it right, right about right here. Just grab one. All right, now throw it up in the air. Yes, 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 you're doing good. Here, throw that one in there. Let me see. I have another one. Throw those in there. Here, would you would you grab another one for me? No, no, just in the air. Just you just have to do it in the air. And right, throw it in the can. That's good. That's good. I like that. I like that. Uh, can you, let me see. Look at this. You see this one here? You see this one there? All right. I want to I want to take this one here. Put it in the can. All right. Let me see. Oh, there's another one over here. There's another one here. There's another one there. There's another one there. That's amazing. Can you cough? Can you cough? Amazing. Amazing. I don't know where all this stuff is coming from. Look at that. Look at that. You all doing good, huh? Goodness sakes. Look. Look at all this. Well, looks like the gold bug is working, huh? He's really working. He isn't, he isn't biting you or anything, huh? All right. Well, look, why don't you do this? Why don't you, why don't you take and open that bag up? Open up the bag. Let's see what's in the bag. You can hold the map. Oh, that's good. Hold, hold the map. And you oh, just open that. This will, this will hold on you. You don't have to hold that. OK, just open it up. Just open it all up. Let's see what's in there. Let's see. Boy, it must be it's so it's really tied in there good. Oh my goodness, nothing got in, nothing could get out, right? All right, just open it up, let's open it up all the way. Boy, dig it, dig it in there. What you what do we have? What? Where? What's that? Is that the tulip tree? Oh, we'll put the tulip tree in there. 
And they're like, I can understand that. The gold bug is doing all kind of things tonight. Well, let me see. He's, is he still in your pocket? Let me see if I can get him. Be careful now. Be careful. I don't want him to bite you. Uh, he's not biting yet? Okay. He's all right. I'll put him in here, too. All right. All right. All right. Well, why don't you hold that map? Let me see. Let me see if I can get this. I'll put this cover on like that, okay? All right, now, can you hold the jar? Hold it at the bottom. Hold it at the bottom. And hold it right on the side here. Can you hold it a little bit? Can you hold the jar? All right. All right, just, just hold it right there. Good. Everybody's got it? All right. <clears throat> now, we're going to say the magic words. You know what the magic words are? Well, how about abracadabra? Gold bug, show us what you can do. How's that? Say, gold bug, show us what you can do. Whoa, man. And look, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. There's something, there's something. I see something. Look, 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 there's something in here. There's something in here. There's, got, there's something. Look, look, all this, all this. Oh, look, 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 see if it fits, see if it fits, does it fit, does it fit, does it fit, oh, amazing, amazing, well, that's a souvenir map for you, okay, and I have something special for you, <coughs> I want to, to thank you for coming, and I want you to know that uh, this was a great adventure, don't you think? All right. Well, look, <clears throat> from now on out, we want to say uh, to our friends at the, at the Magic Club to come visit us again, and we hope that uh, they'll have a, a good adventure like you did. Okay? Well, let's say goodbye. Goodbye.